Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can create your own templates for Unreal. So recently I've been working on a custom VR template and I keep copying it, copying it, and then it's just getting really annoying when I've got to start a new project or when I'm testing something. So I thought we would add a custom template and then from now on I can just select it and then create a new folder. And as easy as that, we can just hit new project, GDXR, VR template, and then hit create. And that'll actually create us a new template containing everything that we've got in our project. So pretty much just saving some time having to rename files and folders and stuff like that. So let's get started. So the first thing you need is a template or a project that you're working yourself. So at the minute, this one loads up and we've got some stuff in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cubes just so we know that this is the new one. Let's just add some more objects. Obviously, your template can have whatever you want in it. Just got to make sure we put it in the right location. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a screenshot, which is important in here. So we're going to go to the three lines. We're then going to go to high resolution screenshot. And then we're just going to take one and open that file. So we've got it. That opened up for me. So I've got it here. And now what we can do is we can actually close this down. So I'm going to close it. We'll hit save selected. And now what we need to do, because we've got our template here on the desktop, we need to open up our project files or our PC or program. So I'm going to go to my C drive because that's where I have Unreal installed. And then in program files, because I'm using the Epic Launcher version, we're then going to look for our Epic one, if I can find it. So Epic Games. And then in here, because I'm using the UE5 one mainly, I'm going to use that for now. But you can do this with the other versions as well, or UE4. So we're going to open up our early access version. And you can see here, we've got a folder, folder called templates. If we open this up, we've got a couple of examples. And the first thing we need to do is create a new folder. So we're going to right click, we're going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this TP for template underscore virtual reality tutorial. And then we're going to end it with BP because it's a blueprint project. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rename this so I can copy it will see. So I can copy the name of our project. So if we look into the folder that contains our project, you can see we've got GDXR template because I spelled it wrong. And in here, we can compare this to the other project. So if we have a look at the default VR template, you see we've just got our project files as well as one folder called media. And we do add a need, need to add a config file as well. So what we're going to do is copy that project. So this is what we want to use as our template. Right click, copy, and then paste it directly into our folder. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually delete our drive data cache intermediate and saved. And then we're going to rename the project itself to match our folder. It's important that these match. So I'm going to right click, rename control C, as well as copy, rename, paste that in there. So we've got our project. And what we need to do is we need to add a media folder as well. So you can see if we go to our virtual project, we have something called a media folder. And in here, it's just got some images. So I'm going to copy and paste this to our new template. Just so we've got it in the correct location. And the last thing we need to copy is a folder out of a config file. So I'm going to use a VR template because it's as close as to what my actual template contains. So I'm going to go to config. And you'll see here, we've got a template def, def s basically defines I and I. We're going to right click and copy this and we're going to paste this into our new template. So template program and in config, we want to paste that in here. So paste that in and now we're going to open that up. So in here, you'll see that we've got a load of information. And the first thing we're going to do is change the name of our display name. Uh, in this case, it is virtual reality tutorial. So let's do virtual reality space tutorial. 
And you can see here, we actually have the description of what our template contains. So you see it goes all the way along. Virtually template for, uh, let's do in capsule, we can see for GGXR tutorial. So be a bit jarring, that's about it. And then what I do as well is if we scroll down, in here we have short key virtual reality blueprint. I actually renamed this to virtual reality tutorial. And then it's a BP and file and save. Now what we need to do is sort out our media. So if we launch our Unreal Launcher now, we'll be able to see that we don't actually have the correct media files. So if I go to basic, you'll see here virtual reality tutorial. It's got no icon and it has no preview image. So that's what we're gonna create now. To do this, we just copy the name of our tutorial or our project file. So control C, and then in media, we're actually gonna rename these. So rename, we'll have TP uh, virtual reality blueprint. Oh, so it's just gonna be the same. Tutorial blueprint, that'll be our icon. And then it's important on this one, that we actually do the same thing, but we keep the preview at the end. So we're gonna do cool V, it's a bit of a long name, preview. We'll just refresh this. If you wanna do your own icon, make sure it's 64 by 64 with a, with a bit depth of 32. And for our image, let's actually, because we took that screenshot, didn't we? I forgot about that. What we can do is we can copy, we can open up our screenshot. So here it is. I'm gonna open this in Photoshop. And now we're in Photoshop. What we're going to do is we see our icons. We're going to go to image. Oh, we'll go to image and then image size. And we're going to set this to 400 by 200. Make sure it's unlocked. So we'll keep the size. And then we can change the resolution to 32. So it makes it quite small. And you can modify it a little bit more if you want to. Uh, it looks pretty bad on here. But well, we go to file save as and then we can actually rename it to that project so if we go to c program files epic games our folder templates find our project media and then we'll just save over this image with the same name hit save yes okay now that's done we don't need to save that and we can close this window and our normal project. And we can see now we've got our stuff. What you will want to do is actually launch the project in here before you clone it or open it through the launcher. I find if you don't do that, you get some issues with lighting. So let's say UE5, that loads up and generates some program files for us. And then you might wanna just make sure that you build the lighting in here. So build, build all levels. You guys can't see it as well, but Unreal's telling me that the project name must be locked must be must not be longer than 20 characters so make sure your name's pretty small on the template one but for now this will do so we built our lighting we can actually close this down save selected and now that's pretty much it what we can do is we can close this we can then launch our epic launcher and if we go to games you'll see that we have our virtual reality tutorial we have our icon we got a screenshot for some reason it's pretty blurry that's probably my fault and then we can actually select it. We can rename it. So we open it to template and then we'll do test project VR that create. Wait for that to load. You see that we've got the actual project. And if we go into our folder, we then have our new VR project, which is basically a, cl a clone of our template one. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this helps you out and saves you some time in the long run. Um, if you do want to make changes to the project, just make sure to update that project setting. Basically the same thing over. Um, thank you to all my patrons for helping this, uh, like supporting the channel as well. It's been crazy, the growth that we're having so far. Um, the Discord is getting there as well. We've got almost 800 people. So, Ron, keep going. Thank you to everyone. Hope everyone stays safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.